In this video, we're going to be talking about the ALX Salesforce Administrator. And we're going to be talking about why you should sign up for the course, what is Salesforce, how much you would earn if you get certified as a Salesforce Administrator, how long it should take you to complete the course, and what you would actually have to do if you become a Salesforce Administrator. If you've not subscribed already, I think you should do that by clicking on the button below because what exactly is the color of your problem at this point if I have to ask you to subscribe? Now, what is Salesforce? Salesforce is the topmost customer relationship management platform in the world. And that means that it helps businesses manage customer data, sales operations, marketing, distribution, and you know campaigns. In simple terms, Salesforce allows people to manage data and business operations on the go. So basically what it does is to help your teams work together in unison across several functional categories. Say for example, you have marketing, you have distribution, you have sales, you have operations, and like you want to like monitor all of those things you know, from this single dashboard and like give instructions and people can interact with each other. So Salesforce is like a tool, but a tool for communities to manage and, you know, organize themselves. Because we know that the world is going remote right now and a lot of things are happening on the cloud, people don't really have to like be on site anymore. Salesforce is really, really effective and it is literally taking control of the whole you know, CRM, which is customer relationship management market. Now, for a tool that starts its pricing at $25 per month, Salesforce is really, really big. In fact, it has been reported that about 90% of the Fortune 500 companies now use Salesforce to automate their business operations. That's really huge. Now, that also tells you something. It tells you that Every serious company, be it a traditional company, an old legacy company, or a startup, every serious one is trying to automate their business operations. And the first place they're looking at is Salesforce. And that also means that there's a huge job opportunity for people who know how to manage Salesforce. People like you, who will be learning how to use Salesforce from ALX. And a couple of companies um, you may recognize already use Salesforce. And I'll mention some of them. We have the likes of Coca-Cola. We have Walmart. We have Spotify, Amazon Web Services. You know, we talked about it in this video. So we have the New York Post and we have T-Mobile. And the list goes on, like literally goes on to thousands of thousands of companies, companies that you wanted to work for when you were a child. So what does a Salesforce administrator actually do? Now, as a Salesforce administrator, your job is basically to customize the platform for the needs of the businesses and projects that you will be working on. So you'll be collaborating with stakeholders and business leaders, business partners, to make sure that the Salesforce platform is doing exactly what they need. And this tells you something. It tells you that the Salesforce platform is actually pretty big and it is customizable. It, you can actually make it do what you know you want it to do. It needs to be set up, it needs to be fixed. It's kind of like when you get like get a new software and like you know you need to like tweak all those little numbers to make sure that they actually work for the for the exact things you need it for. Since no business is the same and everybody has like a different requirement, different you know metrics, different KPIs. And a Salesforce administrator would be that guy that understands the platform and sets it up for the needs of the businesses and stakeholders that uh, you know, you'll be working with. To put it simply, what you'll be doing is basically to help people who sign up to Salesforce get the best out of the Salesforce platform, right? So you kind of be like their guru in helping them get the best out of the platform they're signed up for with a lot of money. And here's a typical example of how Salesforce can be used. So imagine you are a campaign leader for a political party, and then in this campaign for a candidate who is trying to contest for an elected position, you will have to manage the welfare team, the distribution team, the marketing team, the media team, and you have to manage all these teams from your control room. Now, how do you do that when these people are 
scattered across several regions of the same demography. They have to call you, they have to text you about new updates, they have to report new happenings to you, and you have to respond immediately. Now, what Salesforce will do in this, in this particular situation will be to help you manage them on the go and help everyone involved in the process see what is happening in real time without having to put across several calls, several emails, and without having to miss or lose track of what is going on at every particular time. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a lot, but yeah, it's, it's pretty simple to understand, I think. Now, the alternative would be the traditional age-old way of doing things. Before now, we would have to jot down information. We would have to like create, you know, marker boards for us to write things down and, you know, take memos and have like big exercise books where we like write all these records down, you know. And the, the difficulty with that is like information gets mixed up. People actually don't remember things. People tear out a sheet of paper and then something gets missing, a record gets lost. So what Salesforce is doing is making sure that all these records are put together, people are reporting in real time, and everything is actually chronologically reported, and nothing is being missed out. Gradually, as technology evolved and information, you know, ICT actually got better, people have, we now have tools like Excel, you know, that allows us to write down data, and, you know, connect things across the cloud. But it doesn't quite do it as good as Salesforce because Salesforce is not just managing data. It's also managing customer relationships. It's also managing people. It's also allowing you to connect with stakeholders, allowing stakeholders have access to data and have access to sentiment, which is actually the big deal. So if you're handling huge volumes of data, you may want to think about Salesforce. And that's what's happening right now. Startups who are really working with a lot of data are moving to Salesforce because they are seeing that it's actually the only way for them to get things done on time without losing so much. You know, to wrap this chapter up, what Salesforce actually allows you to do is, number one, track activities of salespeople and marketing people. Number two, report on customer interactions. Number three, analyze the effectiveness of marketing initiatives. Number four, collaborate with team members and stakeholders to get things done. So why is ALX trying to get you a Salesforce administrator certification? Why are they really trying to do that? I mean, it wasn't a thing last year. Why is it a thing now? And just like I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of big companies today are paying top dollar for people who know how to manage Salesforce. They're paying top dollar for administrators who would help them automate their processes save time, save energy, and enable them to achieve their business objectives even faster. And that is the purpose of this whole thing. ALX is basically preparing you for the future of work because work is going to be remote. And ALX recognizes that Africa needs to get on board with the digital transformation of the world. Okay. So as tools get more advanced and you know, work becomes more software driven people like you would be required to manage and administer these systems and that is where this whole thing actually rounds up to salesforce is helping companies to benefit from automated workflows and processes basically helping them achieve better customer service and at the same time customer retention and allowing them to generate a better return on investment on their marketing. Let's go to the reason why a lot of you are here. How long will it take me to complete the course and what does it cost? Now, if you're completely new to Salesforce, you'd have to spend a minimum of 10 hours a week for around six weeks. 10 hours a week, not 10 hours a day, like ALX would actually require. Now, that's basically about 60 hours in one and a half months. But if you are not new to Salesforce, if you've had some experience with Salesforce and you know one or two things about it already, you need about two or three weeks to you know, refresh yourself and pass the exams. It's basically a tool that you can actually learn if you dedicate just a couple of weeks to it. You can actually become really proficient at it. And this is not a guarantee that you'd actually pass the exam. However, ALX is providing a scholarship. I said it earlier in the other video. ALX is paying for it. It costs ordinarily around 
to take the certification exam on your own. But with ALX, you don't have to pay anything. They paid, if, they paid for it already. You are going to do it for free, but you know, you'd have to still read and go through the rigorous and excruciating process of passing through ALX because ALX is really difficult. <clears throat> so finally, how much would you earn if you actually become a Salesforce administrator? According to talent.co, the average annual entry level salary for a Salesforce administrator is, guess what? $71,000. That's a big, big salary. However, on average, Salesforce administrators are earning around $100,000 per annum in the United States. That's around $51 per hour. Now, I want you to do something for me. Go to the comments section and drop the equivalent of the amount I had just quoted in your currency. And let us know how much it is in your country. How much is $100,000 in your country? And would you be interested in earning that? So we've come to the end of this video. In the next video, just like I promised earlier, we'll be talking about the ALX Data Analyst Analytics course. And I would like you to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you so much. And...